Welcome back everybody. Today we're going over this light that you see in my hands and that you saw throughout the intro. So it's the Streamlight HL5X. This thing has some very, very impressive output as you guys are about to see. It's designed of course to be a handheld light and not a weapon mounted light, although I'd imagine some folks could use it for hunting. It does have a one inch body, so if you wanted to mount it, have at it. Um, but I think it's designed uh, primarily for security, for police, uh, for just looking around your farm, looking around your ranch, whatever the case may be. But uh, without more rambling from me, we're going to step outside and take a look and see what the actual beam on this sucker looks like. Um, because in my opinion, it's very impressive, as you guys are about to see. We're always getting new folks into the channel, so for those that don't know, that spot where the wood fence meets the iron fence is approximately 35 feet away from where the camera is and from where I am. Those trees right there are about 40 to 50 feet away. And uh, you guys are looking at the output right now of a Surefire EDC L2T light. It is a 1200 lumen light. I have a review of it. It's an excellent light. Um, most folks would consider this to be a very high output light, uh, which is one of the reasons I'm using it. I'm laughing because you guys are going to see just how intense the light out of this stream light is here in just a second as a contrast. But again, that is what it looks like there with the uh, EDC L2T. That is the stream light. So it's super intense. Uh, you guys should be able to pick up the candela difference there um, of the two. It's a gigantic difference. We're going to step uh, to my left currently and go across the lake here in just a minute and show you guys what those candelas can really do at distance. I'm not sure if it's picking it up there on camera, but across the lake right there, directly across over there, that's about 150, 160 feet away from here. And it's lighting that up just fine. But these trees, that 40 to 50 feet, uh, if you were shining it at them and it, they were a person, they would not be able to uh, see very well. I can tell you that much for sure. Just kind of go through a couple different modes here on it is if we press it twice, we do get the stream or rather the strobe function. I'm not sure if that comes across that well on camera. I have it set at 24 frames a second. So that is going to impact what you guys see. I will tell you that in person, it's very disorienting. Uh, however, it also has the ability to go into the low mode there. And what's kind of funny about it is that this light here in low would be super bright compared to most flashlights out there on the market. Um, but this is the low mode. Again, as a contrast, that's the high mode. As we're recording this, we are about three days out from a full moon. So we have pretty good illumination out tonight. Um, I have the camera, of course, set as close as possible to what I see here with my human eye. And uh, the lake, or rather the trees across the lake, are approximately 130 feet away. We're going to illuminate them first with the Surefire EDC L2T. Uh, great light. Uh, we've gone over it many times in the past, and most folks would consider it to be an extremely bright, high candela light. And that's what it looks like there, illuminating those trees. You definitely get good uh, identification, i.e. if somebody was over there on the shore, I would easily be able to pick that up uh, with the illumination that we're getting here. A good throwy light for sure, uh, especially for the size of it. Now, if you want to see a throwy light, you guys are about to see it. You saw a little bit earlier, but at this distance, it's really going to shine. That right there is the 5X. It's almost comical how bright it is. Um, I mean, I just don't know what to say. The throw is phenomenal. It's daylight bright to the human eye. Uh, if somebody was standing over there and say, let's hypothetically say they had a pistol in their hand, I'd be able to tell you if it was a Glock 19 or a Glock 21. I mean, that's how freaking bright it is. It's insanity. Um, and it's just awesome. It makes me, it makes me feel good inside. <laughs> that is some crazy throw. Uh, not only would it illuminate this distance here, of course, 130 feet, you could push this out at least double that and still have that hot ball of light that you see right there in the middle uh, where that hot spot is. Before we get into the details, I wanted to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video. It's Sportsman's Guide. Uh, for those that don't know, they offer the channel here a special viewer discount. The code is Guns and Gear, and that will get you $20 off orders of $100 or more. The exclusion there is ammo, but I think pretty much everything else will be covered by that discount code. And uh, so not only are they helping support the channel and produce the videos, but they're also giving something back to the viewers. So I certainly appreciate that. Anyway, let's get on with the details. Now that we've seen the impressive output, we'll get into the details of this little guy here. We'll start out here at the bezel and sort of work our way back. It is an all aluminum head. You can see that we do have these heat sinks on it as well, which is important for any kind of high output light. We do have some crenellation to it. However, it's definitely not designed to be an impact weapon. That said, if you wanted to use it like that, I would imagine it'll work pretty darn well. Looking down into the reflector, you can see it's a smooth reflector and it's got a very deep uh, reflector there. That's what's gonna give you that awesome uh, throw that you guys saw there. 
Moving on from the, again, all aluminum head, we have the body here, which is also aluminum. However, it has a rubber overmold to it. And that's the portion that, of course, you're going to grab onto under normal use. The activation is all done by this one switch right here. There is no switch back here on the tail cap. Tail cap is aluminum, it is crenellated, and it does have a spot there. If you guys want to use a lanyard, it is an option uh, to do so. A basic function of the light is gonna be that it is 10 tap programmable. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. I've done it a thousand times on video, but basically you're gonna press and hold Real, you're going to press really quick rather and then hold on the 10th one that will cycle through the modes This particular light has three different modes uh, The first one is exactly what we have it in here Which I'll show you in just a second it is high strobe low and then you can set it up to be high only or you can set it up to be high medium high or rather low medium high excuse me so we're going uh, low and then up to the highest output the actual candela and the um, lumens for each mode will be listed here on your screen so you guys can check those out and uh, again sort of to work through the modes again we have it set to high strobe low so when we basically when we come on it's going to be in high and then if i want to go to strobe we're going to press twice that's going to give you the strobe output there and if i want to go to low we're just going to press three times real quick and that is our low output there again you can set it up though in whatever configuration you like if you look around online, you'll probably see a couple different versions of this light. One of them is going to be the one that we have here, which comes with two rechargeable 18650 batteries, and they are USB, micro USB rechargeable. So we'll back that out. You'll note the tail cap there is O-ring sealed. The light is IPX7 rated. It's got a nice strong spring on there, which is also always a good thing. And then again, we have the 18650 batteries with the little micro USB port on there. And these are awesome. I've been using these since they came out, and I've had a grand total of zero issues with them ever. Uh, they work really well, uh, easy to charge anywhere obviously with that micro USB, so it's definitely nice. However, if you want to run the light with CR123A batteries, you can do so. You can use four of those, however, it will change the output that you're getting from the light. These 18650s are going to give you a little bit more juice. Obviously, they're rechargeable as well. The downside is um, when they sort of run out, they run out real quick as opposed to a CR123, which is going to gradually um, kind of reduce the outputs that way. As the user, you're going you're gonna to notice it and you're going to see it and you're going to know it's time to replace them. Sometimes with the 18650s, it doesn't give you a ton of warning. So there are pros and cons there on the two. Um, but you're definitely going to get more juice with the 18650s. And I would imagine most folks who are looking at this light are going to run the 18650s just because of the utilitarian type of use that it does give you. I'm sure many of you out there have never actually held the HL5X in your hand, so I wanted to give you a size comparison with something that's pretty common. This is our uh, Streamlight Protac HL. It's the same size as the HLX, which is the replacement of this version here. I've just had this one for a while. Um, but this is a standard one inch light, so it's very similar if you guys have used like a Surefire G2X or something like that, or 6PX, it's gonna be the same size. Just to give you a size reference, that's how much bigger we are here with the Protac HL5X, and it's not lightweight either. So these ones here are relatively lightweight, uh, relative of course to this. Uh, the Protac HL5X with the two 18650 batteries on my scale was 19.5 ounces. When I loaded it up with the uh, four CR123s, dropped an ounce off of that coming in at 18.5 uh, ounces. So it's not lightweight for sure, but again, the weight can be a pro or it can be a con, just depending on the type of use that you're using it for. We hit most of the important details. One that's always important is going to be price. I looked around today online, and if you're looking for one that comes with the uh, two 18650s, it's going to be around $99 to $110, depending on where you look. Of course, there's always good sales. Um, and if you're looking for a version that's going to come with four CR123As with it, um, it's going to be a little bit cheaper, knock $10, $15 off that price I just said. Um, so there is sort of an upgraded charge if you're getting those two 18650s. However, they work in anything. It's not They're not exclusive to this light. So if you guys want to use them in other lights, etc., you can do so. It really just depends on which one you prefer, which one you like. But that's generally speaking going to be the price point. Of course, we'll have links down below in the video description for folks who want to check those out. But again, like I said, what's it used for? Really anything. Right now, this light has been sitting next to the chair that I predominantly sit in. So that way, if I need a light to go check out what's going on outside, I can do that. I think a lot of law enforcement officers are going to want to use this um, for maybe when they get out of their vehicle, slip it in their belt or something like that, or their belt holster, I should say. 
and use it for that because it's going to give you great throw if you're investigating you know a bump in the night to see who's out there or what's out there it's going to give you a lot of good positive identification that a lot of other lights can't give you and of course like i said it could be used as an impact tool this thing had no problem being dropped on concrete from shoulder height um, we did it multiple times and had no issues with it just besides getting some scuffs but that's just good honest wear but um, again, I really like the output. I think there's a ton of different uses for it. It just sort of depends what you want, but that's the beauty of it. You guys get to decide. So um, we'll leave it up to you. If you guys have any questions or comments about the lights, you can always post down below in the comment section as always. However, the best place to reach me, if you guys need an answer to those questions is over at my Facebook page. Over there is where I respond to all the questions and comments that I do get, at least all the ones I see, which I think is 100% of them. So if you send me a message over there, I'll get back to you. It might take me a couple days but I will do so if you guys are looking for good deals. That's also a great place to look. I will post all the sales that we see on this light for sure. If you guys are looking for great deals but don't wanna to go to Facebook for whatever reason, that's on you. You can also sign up for my email list over at my website or over on my Facebook page. You don't need a Facebook account to sign up on Facebook for my email. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching guys, thanks for subscribing. If you're not subscribed and you like what you saw here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video.